<laughs> that was the last thing I'd expect to see. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be watching The Hangover Part Two. Kind of hard to imagine a sequel to this movie because how the hell would they end up in the same situation? Like, bro, how do you make the same mistake twice? I have a strong feeling Alan probably drugs them again, so that's something like that. It's gonna be Alan's fault again, why we all can't remember what happened the night before. And even though, like, we know what happened last time we went out, why would we do it again? You know, and like, this time, we're gonna plan to all stay super sober, I get that. But to go out and get fucked up again for some sort of occasion, I have no idea why. And I'm excited to find out. I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon. As long as early access to the third hangover will also be available on Patreon and YouTube membership. So click the join button down below. But anyways, let's get started. Hi, this is Dr. Stu Price. I'm getting married, so I'll be out of the country for two weeks. I'm not sure if I'll have cell service. All right, so we probably get fucked up on Stu's bachelor. See, is he fucking marrying Melissa, bro? I'm gonna be so pissed for him. I looked into his eyes, not the eyes of the man, the eyes of a coward. Is Stu marrying her? Cause she was the one calling him. And like, sounds like the dad's talking about him. I'm sorry. Where <laughs> the hell are you? We fucked up. It happened again. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> No, this time we really fucked up. Seriously, what is wrong with you three? So much, Trace, I don't even know where to begin. Why is fucking Alan bald? Like, no wedding bad? Yeah, a little worse than that. How is it worse? You really need to floss more. Fuck that. <laughs> For real. Hey, how do I work the nitrous? Uh, you don't, actually. Come on, <laughs> just one hit. <laughs> Let's try to get high. You're getting married in Thailand. For starters, that's flight for me and step. That's two grand right there. It takes five days to get there. It's a 16 hour flight. Yeah, what do you mean five days? But it's where her parents are from and it means a lot to them. Who gives a shit about her parents? <laughs> my dad hates you. He's just never spoken to me. I think it's a cultural thing. I keep- Oh no. Phil, mm. put the prescription pad back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I must've picked that up by accident, my bad. You know that's a felony, right? Fuck you, man. <laughs> Was this right up against your scrotum? Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Alan found out that we're going to Thailand for Stu's wedding. So he's heartbroken, Doug. You guys are like his family. Yeah, uh, he wants to go. All Alan talks about is the three of you. It's the wolf pack. <laughs> Could you just run it by Stu? Just... <sighs> no fucking way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? We should see if we can squeeze your man to cover the bachelor party. I'm glad you brought that up. No bachelor party. This is the bachelor party. Oh, right, right, right here, right now? Yeah, it's my bachelor brunch. Oh. Go crazy. Get some chocolate chip pancakes. That seems really fitting for Stu, actually. You can't just skip out of a bachelor party, Stu. Do you see that? That's orange juice with a napkin on top. Do you know why? So nobody roofies me. <laughs> and I'm not doing anything to screw that up. Smart. Vegas out of that equation, you would have married a cunt. Oh, it's okay. No, no, I'm allowed to say it's a bachelor party. Drink up, everybody. <laughs> Oh wait, there's no alcohol. I forgot. Where the fuck can I hop? <laughs> Fucking love, bro. I love Phil. No, Doug, I just don't get it. I mean, he's getting married in Thailand. That's great for him, but what about us? You're just selfish. <laughs> no, bro, what you're doing, what you're saying, all Phil cares about is having the bachelor party because he knows it's gonna be a fun time. That's insanely selfish of him. He really needs this. What? Some danger genius at work. I feel like his room is like a 12 year old room. Like it's, he never outgrew it, huh? Hey, Sue. Okay, see you on the court and hat. <laughs> Pretty cool room, Alan. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks, Phil. Yeah. My dad pays my rent. <laughs> Alan, what the fuck? We were supposed to delete these. Oh, shit, what the fuck? Miss. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He got them all framed. <laughs> Chillax, dude. Nobody ever comes in here. Total violation True. of trust. Mother, I'm done with my lunch. It's just sitting here. Oh, my fuck. Al, is that Mr. Chow? Yeah, we still keep in touch. Alan, he's a criminal. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, darling. I'll be right back. Oh my god. Would a cupcake kill you? Oh my fucking god. Such a man child. Stu would like to invite you to his wedding. Well, only if you're not busy. Yeah, why not? It'll be fun, right? Like I said, he's gonna do some shit. He's gonna get us all fucked up again, and that's why whatever happens, happens. <laughs> Why? What the fuck are you doing, man? It's my humanizations. Hmm. It's the last day I can do it. What? Zagovanakis does a really good job of playing Alan. Like he nail he nails the character perfectly. 
slow mo is pretty cool i'm not gonna lie they all look pretty cool especially alan dude alan's fucking fitted actually and with the pipe is that okay with you oh it's just the first time i've heard of it you could have paged me such a diva bro for no reason <laughs> Look at that one in the back. <laughs> to the why, why does he hate Teddy so much? Like, why is he jealous that he's coming to the wedding? It's, it's just Alan. He just doesn't understand shit. He probably feels like Teddy's intruding into the, the wolf pack or whatever. Dude, still staring him down. Bro, Alan's going to do some shit to Teddy. That He's going to do some shit to him. Damn, Teddy's hella good. Damn, Teddy, he's just good at everything. Get over it, he's your father-in-law. He's supposed to hate you. Come have a drink with me and the guys. The manager, he's gonna let us have a bonfire on the beach. That sounds fun. Yeah. Oh, come on, just go and do me a favor. Take Teddy with you. Never gets to have any fun. Yeah, I'll take Teddy, no problem. He's responsible. He's mature and responsible. My Uncle Roger said that he once saw a albino polar bear. Really? <laughs> Polar bears are white. Yeah. How do you know if it's an albino? Yeah. This one was black. All right. Okay, here we go. All right. American beer. All right, all right. Okay, that's already closed. Alan couldn't have put anything in there already. Okay, okay. Really old enough to drink. Yeah, it's illegal. It'd be a shame if somebody reported you. Jesus Christ. I feel like Alan would. I'm actually jealous of you. I mean, Lauren is an angel. Yeah. She really is amazing. Yeah, how did you pull her, bro? Like, she's way out of your league. Now, can we have our one fucking beer, Dad? Mm hmm. All oh, the music's kicking in. To Lauren and Stu. At the start. <laughs> the beast. Bro, why is he soaking wet? Is he just sweating that much? I'd be so confused because all you meant to do was just have like one beer on the beach. You know, you didn't try and like do anything crazy. Like, ah. Uh. And like, I didn't see a point where like Alan could have drugged anyone or something. Oh my god. What? And he's bald now. Okay. Dude, Alan kind of looks like Tom Segura, to be honest. Yeah, they know they look a lot alike. I think it's happened again. Alan, what the fuck did you do? I didn't do anything. I swear to God. Okay, maybe Alan didn't. Maybe he didn't. Then like, what the fuck could have happened? Like, we had to have gotten drugged, but how could we have gotten drugged? Where the fuck are we? And like, I don't think Alan's the type to lie. I just think he's the type to not fucking mention it. You know, which is pretty much just as bad as lying, but like... Jesus Christ. Uh... Mm. <gasps> oh fuck, he got the Mike Tyson tattoo in this one. Oh my God, Alan, your head. No, your head. Stu. You're gonna freak out, but it's gonna be okay. Why? What's is it my teeth? No. No. No, it's not your teeth. <laughs> Are you sure? This is the worst in your tooth, dog, because you can get a replacement tooth, but what happened? Oh, what the fuck? Why is there a monkey? <laughs> Why is the monkey in a denim fucking sleeveless a sleeveless denim coat? What? Oh, what the hell? A fucking rolling stone on the back. Doc! Doc, where the hell are you? I'm at breakfast by the pool. You guys coming down? Oh shit, dog, what the fuck? How what? Thank God he's fine. What is that? Careful. Wait a second, is Teddy with you guys? Oh shit, where's Teddy? What are you talking about? He what? What's a finger with a ring on it? Teddy went to Stanford, right? Yeah, why? Oh. Fuck! That's Teddy's fucking finger? Oh, Teddy's dead. Oh no. He has to be dead then. Worm? It's a mushroom. Is that a nipple? Wait a second. Is that? Oh, oh, what the fuck, man? oh, it's Mr. Chow! Oh, wait, that was his fucking dick! Dude, that didn't even look like his dick. Oh, my. What the fuck are you doing here? Alan called me a few days ago and invited me to wedding. Alan! So he must have fucking drugged us or so something. Teddy was with us last night. That's his finger. Teddy's dead? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Teddy not dead. Huh. He potty with us all night. Okay, so Mr. Chow remembers what happened. Don't you remember anything? No. <laughs> okay, okay. I explained it all, okay? Just let me do one bump, get my head straight. Okay. That's a big... Yeah, that was a lot. Easiest fucking story of... 
<laughs> oh my fucking god, he just fucking die, bro. We just watched we just watched Pulp Fiction, okay? We gotta fucking get him a shot of adrenaline with a needle approximately this fucking long. Fuck, he's dead. Oh my god, there's no way, dude. Okay, bro. Teddy, okay, let's check the fucking roof. Oh, we're gonna throw Chow's body in the ice machine. <laughs> That's fucked. Dude, let's check the goddamn roof. Okay, just to double check. And let's check a bunch of other places like that for Teddy. First, feet first. I've done this before. What do you mean? What, what do you mean you've done this before? We still have to find Teddy. Oh, God. I guess it's not confirmed that he's dead. But, like, if we found his finger, dog. I mean, shit, bro. It could be someone else's finger. The roof! You guys see me? Okay, let's not only check the roof. Let's check like every fucking random spa we could possibly think of. Something we might, somewhere we might have put him to just be fucking with him, you know? Just to double check, just to see. It's worth checking. If this is happening again. Just got off the phone with Bangkok PD. They got him. He's okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 Happened. <laughs> got arrested. Arrested for what? Disorderly conduct. It's fine. We got to get a cab. Okay. All right. Nah, there's something. That... There's something to this, dude. Like, it's probably... It's like how we got Doug mixed up with the other Doug in the last movie. They threw him in the drunk tank. He's fine. Wait, who's this fucking guy? Teddy, is this guy? No. 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 That is Teddy, but it's not our Teddy. IDs and everything. These were in his pockets when we made the arrest. That is not this... <laughs> Bro, they look this... Okay, that's... That's our Teddy's ID, but... The picture does something. <laughs> Does he look like he works out at Valley Total Fitness in Palo Alto, California? He arrests a lot of people. We cannot analyze everything. Oh, bro. Does he look like this fucking photo? Like, that's... I think he knows us. No, he doesn't. Something? He's wearing Teddy's sweatshirt. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is the white lion. What the fuck happened here? Yeah, why is it fucking burnt out? <laughs> what did we do? Why is this entire block just fucking burned down? Holy oh, shit! Stu, look! Oh, that Hello? <laughs> Bro, that's a child getting a tattoo. To figure out what went down last night. Take a look what you did outside, out the neighborhood went down. So that was us. Starting a full on fucking riot. No, sir, you know, we don't remember anything. Check this out. I need to know, dude. Bro, they can make like a special edition of these movies just to show us their night and like FUCK THE POLICE! <laughs> FUCK THE POLICE! <laughs> that was the last fucking thing I'd expect to see in the video. Cried like a little bitch. This kid's fucking nine years old. He's got balls twice your size. Show him your balls, man. No, no, I'm good. That's the sign of the Chiang Mai Monastery just outside of town. Maybe somebody over there can get him to talk. Such a peaceful people. We brought one of your guys back. He's really funny. He's really nice and cool. Dude, Alan is gonna piss off all these fucking monks. Oh, hey! Why? Why? What? What? What do we do? Stop it! Just calm down! Ah! Oh, it's because we're talking, huh? It's because we are. Oh, we're talking. Yeah. Stop! Stop talking! Stop. None of us will ever know. Well, so much for holy people. Bunch of bald assholes. Every memory lives somewhere deep within. You should bring your question. To the garden of meditation. Did you understand a word he just said? Yeah. What, are they just gonna like suddenly remember a bunch of shit? Cause like the, the memories and answers are deep within, but like bro. I got nothing. Alan? I, I feel like Alan's gonna remember some shit. Like uh, in the Black Shack scene when he started making all his calculations, it's gonna be like that. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys. Hey Phil. Hey buddy. Oh. Stu would like to invite you to his wedding. Hmm. This They're all kids now. Fuck. <laughs> Why are they- why are they kids? Is this how like Alan- I mean it's Alan bro, like his entire mentality is like, he's a kid, you know? It's supposed to represent Alan's brain, cause he is a man-child, so... I know where to go. Of course Alan would have that type of vision. Is he coming or what? I've been waiting all day for him! Bro! That Waiting for who? Chow, that dick ass. That's fucking um. 
That's Brian Cowlin again. Wait, did they not remember each other from the last movie? Or is he supposed to be a new character? I don't know. $6,000, America. <laughs> wow, looks so real. <laughs> Alan. Sorry. Alan, what the fuck? <laughs> it's okay. Get the fuck back to work. <laughs> He's definitely supposed to be the same character. <laughs> We're just looking for a little kid. $2,000. What? what? I don't know. I mean, maybe more, okay? How young you want this kid to be? No, 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 no. Seasick. That he's been a maritime deck cadet since he was nine. Of course. Of course he was. I'm going to tell you something that you did not know. I don't like you. Oh, no shit. We've been really crazy, man. I just want to... <laughs> what the fuck? Why? You must fuck out a monkey. What monkey? Get your own monkey. Oh, it's their monkey. You asshole. The fucking monkey. Come on. Dude, just give it to him. God, I never get to keep no monkeys. What do you say? What do you say? <laughs> little helmet. Fuck you and your questions. Oh shit, they just shot him! We'll figure this all out and get the monkey back, I promise! Don't give us a fuck about the monkey, Alan! What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Eight stitches. Only cost six dollars. How's that even possible? Damn. I'm sorry guys, this wasn't part of the plan. What what fucking plan, Alan? I've said too much already. No, you didn't say enough. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it was Alan again. This is all Teddy's fault. Why is he even here? He's not part of the wolf pack. Teddy shouldn't have been sharing from his bag. What bag? The marshmallows. I had a separate bag just for Teddy. I spiked him with muscle relaxers. Oh, no. And plus my ADHD medication. And Adderall? You dropped us again! Not you! I just wanted to knock out Teddy for a little while. So we Why? So we can finally enjoy the weekend. Enjoy the weekend? Alan, you- But that's not really enough to like for us to forget what happened, you know? You ruined my life! Yeah. You're not my friend. Ooh. Don't say that, Phil. Are you serious? Even in America? Yes! Yes. <laughs> Don't say that. No, get the fuck out of here, Alan. Get the fuck out of here. You liked it. You you smiled at me when I held up the bag of marshmallows. Because I thought they're... Because I like marshmallows! You fucking psycho! <laughs> yeah. Because I thought they were regular marshmallows. Guys, we can't fall apart now. We got to stick together. Alan, what's that written on your belly? Ooh, a hotel. Saturday, 6 p.m. Okay. Wow. You guys oh, I know this guy. Don't know his name, but I recognize him. I'm a little confused. How did you... Uh, you know what? I'm a little fucking confused. Where's Chow? Uh, Where is Chow? With the fucking account code and the fucking password! We don't know anything about any codes. We're just trying to find our friend. Danny. Yes. yes. Or do you have him or something? I have invested a large chunk of capital in your friend Chow. So last night, we took Teddy as insurance. Wow. Is he okay? Oh my God, I wasn't done talking. <laughs> <laughs> if he makes the transfer, you will get Teddy. If not, well then, hey, you know, it's Bangkok. Well, T Chow's fucking dead. Don't, don't mention that right now, but okay. Well, we're living here in Alley. <laughs> I was happy and my life was good. I got fucked in the ass by a girl with a dick. Yeah! Oh shit, he's alive. Calm down, Chow! Calm down! Fucking kill on me! No. You did good. You did good. You never do blow before? Sometimes your heart stop, start up again. All right. Never fucking heard of that one. Oh, you having a bad day? Did you die? <laughs> I got shot. But did you die? <laughs> oh. Where's the monkey? Oh, wait. The account number and password in his vest? Where is he? Motherfucker. Why would you fucking do that? Why would you do that? Yeah. Safekeeping, pretty boy. That's not safekeeping. Interpol, MSNBC. <laughs> MSNBC is after him. What the fuck? We just have to get him back. From where? Same place we took him from. Smoking a cigarette. <laughs> you know how fucking hard it is to catch a damn monkey again? Like, you know how hard that's gonna be? And deliver cash to dealer. That's a very smart monkey. That's terrible. <laughs> so stupid. Stupid. Just fucking grab him. Just grab it? Yeah, just do it, Stu. Just do it. Oh, motherfucker. It's warning him. Fuck! Bro, grab the monkey! We gotta and go drive! Right ah! Yes! Who oh, that fucking monkey is! I'm trying. Oh my god. Get back in the car right now. I'm trying, Spoda. 
Bro, I bet that monkey's grip is so fucking strong too. You can't just like rip him back in. He's so strong! <laughs> yeah. Let's go, you fucking monkey! Get down! What the fuck? Is that the monkey? No! No! <laughs> Not the monkey! I went my wits in! <laughs> Not the monkey! Oh, what are you doing? They can take good care of you here, okay? Okay, okay. As long as he's taken care of. Oh, yeah. Of course. Cigarettes got him right here. No. There you go. It's fucking awful. Smoke it in. No. Breathe the smoke into your tiny little lungs. There you go. No. Bro, a pack of cigarettes would probably kill this monkey. That's enough to give the, this monkey fucking cancer. If I could save time in a battle. Wait, is it, this is the song that I was playing in um, X Men Days of Future Past during Quicksilver's scene of slow motion. Stop! Chow crossing. <laughs> I'm really happy. He's a, he's actually in this movie a lot more. Where's Teddy? He's waiting downstairs in my car. Bro, do you have him or not? Tell you what, give me extra 50 grand, you keep Teddy. No! And I throw in this other fat fuck for- <laughs> Your password is baloney one? Well, it used to be just baloney, now they make you add number. Dude, yeah, I know, right? Annoying. It's so fucking annoying. Okay. And it's that easy. Okay, 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 it worked, it worked. Uh, yeah. Bring him up. Or it's, it's not gonna be fucking Teddy, dude. The fuck? Why is there a fucking helicopter? This is my operation. Oh my god! Oh, 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 oh. fucking climb out! Get to Leslie! Motherfucker! It was a setup to get Leslie! Oh my god, to get Mr. Chow. You fucked me over six grand? You camel jock! Well, Samir got him busted over six K? It's the principal! Principal? Nigga, please! We both dead in- Racist asshole, man. You guys okay? The fuck's going on? Detective Inspector Peters, Inter Yeah, he was undercover. This sting operation's been in place for weeks. When Samir told us that your friend was lost, we took advantage of that information. Fuck you guys. So you don't have Teddy. Fuck off. No, Alan, Teddy's not in the fucking car. They don't have him. They never had him. Do you have any leads at all? No, we've checked everywhere. No one has seen him. I'm sorry. <sighs> nah, bro. He's probably... Watch, dude. Okay. He was probably in the fucking uh, freezer where they put Chow. They just didn't realize. They probably threw Chow on top of him inside. And they just didn't fucking realize. Because, like, when they threw him in there, they didn't even look. They just opened it and threw him in there. And then Chow busted out. So, it's like, I don't know. He busted out hella quick. He could be in there. No, this time we really fucked up. No wedding bed? Yeah. A little worse than that. Stay here in Bangkok. I think I belong here. No, definitely not. Open up a little dentist office. Teeth cleanings with a happy ending. Yeah, they clean your teeth and they come on your teeth after. Yeah. We lost your little brother. Bangkok has her now. Did you realize? We gotta take the stairs. Wait, is he in the fucking elevator? The phone? Yeah, he's in the fucking. He's in the elevator, huh? What is going on? What does he mean? You lost Teddy? What? Is that what? <laughs> Doug. Now, when we woke up, the power was out. Yeah. And you found your finger floating in a bowl of melted ice. I get more ice. He fucking floor. Yes. And he goes up. The power goes out. Holy! He's in the elevator. All right, so I have some tragic news. My memory card filled up for the last 15, 20 minutes. I think, and I didn't catch it because it didn't make a sound that it stopped recording. Usually it does do that, and usually, and I would have heard it, but it didn't this time. And so I guess when it stops recording because the memory card fills up, it doesn't make a sound, which is very, very annoying. I'll still leave in like what I said and everything. It just sucks. You can't see my facial reaction. And I can't go back and rewatch it because that kind of defeats the purpose of this. You know, I don't go back and rewatch anything. I never will because then it's not a genuine first time reaction. And that's the whole point of this. <laughs> there he fucking is. <laughs> hey, you okay? You okay, man? 
Where am I? What if it was just a little bit too high or too low? Then you wouldn't you wouldn't know. Hello, a taxi. Chow speedboat. What? You sure you know how to drive this thing? Please, I was raised in yacht clubs. I know what I'm doing. Bro, do not let Alan drive. <laughs> He's so fucking wild to pull up like that at a wedding. At your own wedding. Buddy, turn the boat! Hang on! Is that Alan driving the boat? Yeah. He's just gonna crash. It's better. Get out of the way! Bro, okay, you didn't have to do it with that much fucking speed on the- You know, you could've slowed down and just- Just stayed on the sand, but whatever. What a fucking entrance by Stu, though. Oh, wait, they're gonna tweak about his tattoo, though. He's probably f forgot all about his tattoo, to be honest. So oh, happy to see you. Alan, that's not gonna do anything. Here's the deal, man. I got a dark side. <laughs> There's a demon in me. It's true, he has semen in him. Oh my god, that's not what he said. Took us to hell and back to find him. We took on Bangkok and we won. It would actually mean a great deal to both of us if we could just get your motherfucking blessing. He's not, he's never gonna say yes. That's. Oh, I guess he said yeah, I guess. I guess he got the dad's respect. Hey, Alan. They didn't, no one's anything about his tattoo, but. You should shave your head too. Oh, I do that? Well, that way we would look exactly alike. That's like a throwback to the last comment he made up Phil's hair at the last wedding. <laughs> oh, it's Mike Tyson! <laughs> How the hell did they get Mike Tyson here? How the hell did Alan get Mike Tyson here? For the temples, but the ain't free. I love how Mike Tyson's singing. But by the way, you really need to remove that fucking tattoo from your <laughs> face. Guys. You're not gonna believe this. Is that your phone? Oh, well, the pictures again. But I recharged it and found all these photos. Oh, God. What? Oh, God, let's see this shit. Are these gonna be worse than the last movie or not? They might be. Come on, man. Come on, Mike Tyson. I've seen everything. <laughs> we look at it once. And then we delete them. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> no! Motherfucker. <laughs> Ooh. They're a Muay Thai fight. <laughs> <laughs> go with the monk <laughs> bro you know what these photos actually look like like when you ask the AIR to make photos for you specifically like that's what this fucking looks like now that's funny was it better than the first one though did the sequel do better than the first I don't know uh I don't know to be honest it's hard though it's hard to make a sequel that's better than the first one you know I've seen plot so how are they gonna put a twist on it you know they the twist was they were in Bangkok and they didn't lose Doug they lost Teddy which was Stu's wife's brother and everything so it's like okay it's a little different of a twist everything else still very very similar they're still looking for him going on a crazy ass adventure figuring out what the hell happened last night and he was in he was still in the hotel regardless he was in the damn elevator i i would say this movie is i would say it's equivalent or just slightly below the first one arguably you could have started the franchise with this movie and it would have been just as effective but you would have to establish characters a little bit more if this were to be the first movie but overall it would still it still would have hit just as hard i think to be honest so but yeah this movie was absolutely hilarious it was a lot of fun to watch comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments and if you liked the video like the video and thanks for watching